Hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology 101. In this video, we will discuss a famous concept in psychology known as the Fundamental Attribution Error. This concept was first introduced in 1977 by the psychologist Lee Ross. The Fundamental Attribution Error is a cognitive bias that affects the way that we attribute explanations for the behaviors and actions of others. When observing other people's behaviors, we often try to infer the reasons for these behaviors. In doing so, however, we often have a tendency to overemphasize the dispositional or personality-based explanation for the behaviors of others. What this means is that when we see someone behave in a certain way, we often tend to believe that they do so because it's who they are. To help explain this a bit better, suppose you're out in public in a city that you don't know very well and you find yourself lost. As your phone is out of battery, you decide to approach a local to ask for directions. But instead of helping you out and directing you to where you need to go, the person you approach responded in a rather rude way. Following your interaction, you might be inclined to assume that this person behaved the way they did because they are genuinely unfriendly. You might decide to attribute their behavior to their personality by assuming that the person acted in a rude manner because they are a rude person. However, this dispositional explanation may not necessarily be correct. It could be that the local you approached is not actually a mean person, but instead just had a terrible day. Maybe the reason for their behavior is that you caught them in a bad mood because they for instance just got fired from their job, or because they're in a major fight with their significant other. Thus, rather than considering the possibility of a situational explanation for the behaviors of others, we are often more likely to provide a dispositional explanation. It is this phenomenon that we refer to as the fundamental attribution error. The earliest study that showed the effects of the fundamental attribution error was actually conducted a decade prior to Ross coining the term. In this 1967 study, Jones and Harris invited their participants to the lab where they were instructed to listen to speeches made by people that took a stance that was either in favor or opposed to Fidel Castro. Based on the speeches, the participants were asked to infer the extent to which the speakers possessed pro-Castro attitudes. The results of the study showed that when the participants were told that the speakers freely chose their stance of Fidel Castro, participants on average rated the speakers in favor of Castro as actually having more positive attitudes towards Castro as compared to the speakers who took an anti-Castro stance. Interestingly, however, when participants were told that the speakers did not freely choose their stance, and that the stance they took in their speeches was determined with a coin toss, their participants on average still inferred that the speakers that were pro-Castro still had more positive attitudes towards Castro as compared to the speakers with an anti-Castro stance. These results thus show that people have a bias towards attributing dispositional explanations for people's behavior even in scenarios where a situational explanation is better suited. We hope you enjoyed this short video on the topic of the fundamental attribution error and if you have any suggestions on other topics that you want us to cover, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest videos.